Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 6th of 2023. Well, it is titled SN1006, a supernova ribbon from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a ribbon of material expanding out through space and you can see the brighter areas and slightly fainter areas within this. This is actually part of a supernova that occurred over a thousand years ago. And this is the remnant of that material. Well, one small part of that remnant expanding out into space. Now, this was actually seen to have occurred on Earth back in the year 1006. So over a thousand years ago, and that's when we saw the light reach us from this supernova. Now, of course, it occurred long before that because it is 7000 light years away, meaning that it would have occurred 7000 years before we saw the light. It took the light that long to reach us. But on the uh, back in 1006, uh, uh, humans were able to see a star, a new star appear in the sky. And that was what we call a supernova. And they're seeing something that we have not in modern times had the opportunity to view here within our galaxy. A supernova explosion is not rare. They happen all the time. We see them in other galaxies. We know they have occurred in our galaxy even recently, but nothing that has been visible from Earth has occurred within our galaxy since the advent of the telescope in the very early part of the 1600s. So since then, we've had to stu study remnants within our galaxy, as well as studying uh, supernovae in other galaxies. So here we are seeing just a piece of that material. This ribbon would stretch around and would uh, eventually could be traced back to the origin point, which is where people would have seen that new star appear in the sky. Now here it is, it's like a shock wave that is traveling through space. And as it passes through other gas, it will heat it up, ionize it and cause it to glow. So that's that shock wave that is traveling through and still continuing to travel at very high speeds through space. Now what we have to remember is out in space there is very little resistance. We're used to moving things on Earth where air resistance and friction slow them down. Well, out in space, there is far less of that. And when you start an object moving, it just keeps moving and will keep going at that same speed, uh, only being slowed down slightly when it re reaches resistance from other material between the stars. So it will tend to go at that same speed. So essentially, this supernova is traveling just as fast now as it was when it was see first seen here on Earth a thousand years ago. And that's something we don't always think about when we consider how things move in space as how compared to how they move on Earth. We're so used to having things like air resistance that slow you down when you take your foot off the accelerator of a car that it starts to slow down. Well, out in space with no friction and no air resistance, that wouldn't happen. If you were going at a speed and you take your foot off the accelerator, you would continue to go at that same speed in a rocket. So here we're seeing again an example of part of that supernova remnant seen to explode here on Earth over 1000 years ago. So that was our picture of the day for August 6th of 2023. It was titled SN1006, a supernova ribbon from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be pelican stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.